Guys, we have an issue. This fish right here that I'm holding in my hands is my last piece of food. And I'm going to eat it. Yeah. Um, we're all out. <laughs> but that problem aside, hello and welcome back to End Survival. In the last episode, we made the infusion pedestal and the enchanting table, which I'm going to, just for now, I'm going to put them in here. In the last episode, we went to the end island, the middle island, the dragon lair to get obsidian. We also made this farm over here for, what's it called again? for sulfur and I'm really happy with this farm actually but you guys in the comments in the last episode told me that I could get obsidian from the other end ships including the crashed ones which I'm kind of confused about because I thought I had looked at the ships but maybe I haven't looked close enough so I'm on my way to that ship that we have right up there to see if we have obsidian in it now do keep in mind that I am using a data pack which changes the generation of end cities and ships, well not the generation, but how they look. So if there's no obsidian, that could be why. But let's have a look, if I can get up there. There we go, almost. All right, here we are, kinda. This may have been the worst ship that I went to, but I don't really have many fireworks, so kinda have to preserve them. Now I have been to quite a few of these crashed ones before and I have never seen the glimpse of obsidian anywhere. So far, I don't see any. One of you said it should be on the side or in the side, I guess. I think I've looked. I don't see anything. And another one of you says in the front, but I don't see any. Maybe it's not all the crashed ships that has obsidian, or maybe it is this specific or maybe it is only the intact ones, like this one that we went to a few episodes ago. But so far, I can't really see any obsidian. If I'm missing anything, do let me know down below in the comments again. Whoop. Oh dear. But I'm really not seeing any, and I don't think it's because I'm just not looking at the right place. I will keep my eye out in the future when we find more that are crashed like this, and also when we go to some that are still in the air. We might even, if we get enough fireworks, one of the following episodes, we might even visit the one we've already been to. Where is it? That is, just to see if there's any obsidian on that one. Because if there is, that could be useful. I'm a little bit confused right now. Where am I? I'm going in the... I'm going in the wrong way. I'm, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Ow! Mean! Oh dear. I went the com... I went the complete other... Oh dear. This is why we have pillaring blocks. All right, we are now back home. I just went ahead, dived down to do some fishing, and we now have seven more end fish, which is seven more food than we had before. So I'm gonna cook those up because I am gonna need it. Now in today's episode, what I want to focus on is revamping our house. Yeah, I'm, I'm not happy with how the house is so far. I want to make it look better, both on the outside and on the inside. I want to get rid of this color, uh, pardon me, I want to say gradient, but this is, a, as a matter of fact, not a gradient whatsoever. I want to get rid of these different colors here. I want to keep to the same tree bark and the tree wood. And I think I'm just going to go ahead with the wood type that is actually native to this biome and just get rid of this purple and red stuff. But then as a bonus, I will be using purple and red and other colored wood for, like, for utilities like chests and whatnot. But not only that, I also need to make a new room for our enchantment table and our infusion pedestal. And I think I have an idea on how the infusion pedestal works, but before we can test that, we need to build stuff. Now before we can do that, I need a little bit more wood, meaning I'm gonna have to make another <laughs> Thalassium axe. I'm gonna take my hammer, that's not how you do it, axe head. This should now be able to combine them in here. Ding, ding, ding. I love that sound. And then we have our seven cooked end fish, of which I'm already. Actually, I'm gonna wait with the with eating. I need to. I need. I need to save the food. Also, we have this dragonfly here, guys. I, is this gonna be our new pet? Is this gonna be a pet of ours? Leave name suggestions down below in the comments if you want me to keep this as a pet. He has been stuck there for a very long time. I'm afraid to nudge at him, but I think I might install some doors. And today we will get the room as well, which will be locked off from the outside. 
And yeah, then we can have our little friend. Or if you think we should release him, let me know down below in the comments. Should we keep him as a pet? Or should we release him to the wild? Let me know down below. But anyways, the tree sapling that I planted in the last episode has actually grown. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some wood and then we can get to building. Good thing is this tree doesn't seem to be as ginormous as the last one. So this shouldn't take, hopefully anyway, too long. There we go, I think tree has chop been chopped down. I may have missed some branches, but that's all right because I'm gonna plant another one. So it will probably just get mixed all up up there, which I'm fine with. And yeah, I really want to make this look better from the outside because so far, yeah, it doesn't look that great. But now we have all of this wood right here together with all the wood that we have in here. And I don't really think that I'm gonna be doing a time lapse today. I think I will be doing a step by step with you guys. So let me know what style you like the most the time lapse style or the small progress update style. But oh dear. Oh hi. Hello. No, please go away. Goodbye. Okay, good. All right. So first things first, I want to change up all of these pillars right here. I'm going to keep the double pillar because I think that is going to be looking the best. But I'm also going to change something else. And that is I'm going to bring them all up one. So it goes all the way to the top. And then I'm going to do that with all of the pillars. I am going to make the final block up here, the six sided back block here, because that just looks better. I do want to eventually be able to come up here and we can have our maybe our berry farm here, unless we find a better suitable place for it. But I'm thinking having it on the roof could be kind of cool. But anyways, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And already it looks much better just having the pillars going up one more block. Next, I'm going to go ahead and set down a little bit of a crafting area over here, just so I can craft some of these blocks I'll be needing. And I think as the next thing, I want to replace all of these stairs down here. Also going to have to make a little bit of a temporary staircase up to the roof. I should probably install a ladder somewhere, but for now, this will do. All right, so far, so good. Now on the inside, these are actually also stairs, which kind of makes it easier, to be honest. What on earth? How did you get up here? Go away. And now I looked at that guy as well. These guys are so much trouble. And this guy as well. On the positive side though, I now have 30 levels, which means we can actually enchant something with a 30 level enchantment and potentially get Silk Touch. I'm quite excited for that. But with that said, this is starting to look pretty good. And with that, all the stairs have been changed to this white wood instead of this purple magenta. Purple magenta. I, I can never remember which one is which. Regardless, I think that is looking better. With that said, I will want to find a way to introduce some color to it so it's not just white all the time. So if you have any ideas for that, do let me know down below in the comments. But I think this is looking better than having each section their own color. It just didn't match very well with each other. Lights out. New lights go in. Then I just got to replace all the slabs on the roof and the floor to the white wood. I don't know why, but I keep wanting to say wool instead of wood. It's weird. And in with the new floor. That could be a way to adding some color to the place while also giving it a little bit of a shape. Something is still off about it. I'm going to keep the one in the floor. I removed the one in the roof, but I'm going to keep the one in the floor because I think it could maybe work out. I'm going to leave it here for now at least. Now a room that I'm very excited to get started on is the storage room because I actually want to give this place, this whole place, a revamp because I'm not happy with how the storage is so far. It is messy and it's not that well organized. So I'm actually going to remove all these signs and I'm going to go ahead and make a new axe apparently. And with all the signs removed, I'm now going to start replacing the wood. I'm just in the process of tearing down this old wood stuff. And I just want to say that I am planning on using all these different wood types in other builds. I just don't think this thing that we've tried with the house really works out. But I will be trying to use different types of wood for different builds in the future. Because they all look really, really good and I think they could work out with their own separate things. Almost done. And storage room has been transformed. Well. The skeleton of it anyway. Now what I want to do is completely transform the way that the storage here works because I'm just not happy with it. Which does mean I'm gonna take some of this tinea tin tin tinania bark. 
I'm gonna take some of this, make a bunch more chests, so I can actually add some more. I'm gonna go ahead and make these chests to be double chests. Same with these. And then I'm hoping that I can just get rid of these barrels here, as well as these chests right here. Just like that. Now that does cover up our window over there, which I'm a bit worried about when we look from the outside. Yeah, that doesn't look that great now, does it? But I think I'll keep it for now, I'll worry about that later. It would be better anyway if we can silk touch the glass panes so we don't waste them. I'm just gonna get rid of these and just throw it in somewhere. And so far this is much better. Now I can add the lighting. Just like so. Not bad. That should be enough to light this room up. Guess I can add one in the corner. Why not? Stands out just a little bit too much, so I think I'll remove it. Instead, what I'll do is I'll take one of these end loader stems. I don't think... Oh, I can actually place it on there. Hmm. Don't think it fits enough, though. But I do think this Virid Jade Stone fits. Yeah, that, that kind of fits. Works for me. Now I do need to organize all of this stuff right here, but I think I'm gonna do that off camera. I'll set up the signs and everything. I'll do that off camera because that's gonna take a little bit too long, I think. Instead, what we can do is maybe something like that. And then maybe we add some Tanea doors. Ten, ten, ten and a. <laughs> oh, they're looking good. They look really good. Oh, the trap doors look like that as well. I've just taken all the ten and a wood that we have because I have a little. I have a little bit of an idea. Maybe not a good one, but I think it could actually look kind of good. That's actually not too bad. We could add some here as well. Just for adding some color and texture. Obviously, would have to add them above the window as well. They they do have different textures though. There we go. Which I have noticed with this one. Gotta place it right. There we go. Hmm. I think that could maybe work. Something like this. I'm gonna keep it like that for now. We're not done. I don't have any more tin and air wood. Uh, so I'll we'll have to go ahead and fetch some more of that very soon But I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it like that just to remind myself that that is something that I need to experiment more with and or just Get more more of that wood now that we have done the rest of the house. I okay first off. That's a mistake I think we can make this doorway look a little bit better Yeah, I think that's better that does mean I will want to move this over by one block. That shouldn't be an issue. I'm actually also going to place some pressure plates here because that just makes it easier when we want to go in and out. I'm just afraid that this guy will be able to activate these, so I think I might remove these. Yeah, that works. There we go, staircase has been expanded. And then I'm gonna make another Thalassio Max, and I'm gonna hope that our sapling has grown. It has not. But not to worry, I will just chop down this tree instead because it is inside of our tree area, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I, I need the wood. Alright, I think I have enough wood for now. My axe broke and I am still not done cutting down the tree, but I can't be bothered right now to finish it. I'll finish it another time. Chopping down these trees are quite can be quite tedious because they just branch out literally everywhere. But with that, I now have a lot more wood than I had before. And I'm thinking and I'm thinking of how to make the next room. Or should I say part of the house rather. I'm kinda imagining having a little bit of a bridge going over to another room. Having a little bit of a square and then kinda going out into a circled room. Actually maybe if we start the next room here and then having an enchantment room over here. Maybe a potion section 
and then maybe having a square that's just out into the open with the pedestal because I feel like that's something that should maybe be done under an open sky and then maybe an observing area maybe something like that yeah guess that works so with that I'm gonna take down these template blocks I'm gonna run back inside and I'm gonna have to craft myself yet another axe I should probably think of soon very soon making a better axe like a diamond one or something but for now it's just not really worth it or maybe it is I don't know but let's get to work and I think just because we haven't done a time lapse this episode I think I've got a time lapse this bit right here let's get this done Alright, the house has officially gotten an upgrade, so let us take a look at the new changes. I'm actually really happy with it. So, in here I removed the old ladders that we had here and added them over here in the corners. It adds a lot of symmetry and it just looks better, in my opinion. I think I'm gonna be using these thalassium bulb lanterns on the inside and then on the outside I will be using the other, what are they called, jade lanterns? Hold on, I gotta know this now. Yeah, Vera Jade Stone Lantern, or just the Jade Stone Lanterns. I think they look great for the outside, and for the inside, I think these look best. Now, I did want to add one in this corner as well, but our little buddy Dragonfly over here has kind of occupied this corner, so, um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to interrupt him. But anyways, walking down here, I do need to change some stuff. The composter shouldn't be here, obviously. I do want to change the color of the chest and such. Then we have the brand new storage system, which, again, I will be organizing off camera. Excuse me? How? How did you get spawn up there? That, now, I'm, now I'm stuck. After getting rid of some slime, we can now move on. And then we have the brand new section to the base. We have the bridge over here leading over to our special area. So this will be our enchantment room, which we will be setting up very, very shortly. And then over here, we have the infusion area. I had to remember what it was called. And the torches basically represent where I think the pedestals are gonna have to go. And then in the middle, we will have the infusion pedestal, the main pedestal itself. Now our food situation is so dire that I have resorted down to using chorus fruit once again. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had to do that. But I am very, very happy with the result, the bridge leading over here. And we can eventually expand this this part of the base right here further to maybe a brewing area, maybe an observatory or something. I don't know. And I anchored an enderman. Hello. Hi. This is the second time I've had to exit the bridge to take care of some business. And he's gone. There are just so many of them in this area. I really need to figure out something. If any of you know of any of those like mods, like where you can craft a special land and it stops hostile mobs from spawning in a certain radius for fabric, do let me know down in the comments, please. I will be having a look myself as well, but yeah, any help is appreciated. But anyways, now we need to go ahead and craft quite a few bookshelves, and I just hope that I have enough wood. I don't know... Huh, what? I guess... I guess we have a choice to make here. What kind of wood do we want to use? Do we want to use this white wood, or do we want to use this orangey wood? I don't really have enough of any other wood type. Um, hmm... I'm just afraid that this bright red color is going to stick out a lot, as in too much, but I don't know. I mean, I can always change it later. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with this color just because I think the white will just blend in too much. So let's let's see how this works. So we're going to need quite a few planks. Now, I don't remember how many bookshelves it is you need. I think it's like 15 or 16, so we have just enough right here to make 16, which is exactly what we are going to do, just like that. I'm gonna put the wood away and we're gonna place down all these bookshelves. So just like this. Oh wow, they're bright. <laughs> they're quite bright in color, huh? I think I can even place them all here in the corner and it should still, it should still work, maybe? 
I guess we'll find out. Remove the crafting table and then we'll place down the enchantment table. And we will see if we can do level 30 enchantments. If we can, then that's a good day. Let's see. Level 30 enchantments right there. We have been needing this for a very, very long time. Now, the next bit. I am not sure how this infusion stuff works. So I'm gonna set it up and... Well, we'll have to see. <laughs> So I'm assuming this is going to be have to be in the center. And then I am assuming that the other... No. That if we look at a recipe that all these slots out here are normal pedestals. So I'm going to replace all these torches with regular pedestals. If I count the slots out here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8 slots. And I've placed down 8 pedestals in total. And other than that. I guess we will need to do some infusion in the next episode to see if this actually works or not. But I'm pretty sure it will. And I just got teleported down in the cave right in front of an enderman. That's not ideal. But unfortunately, I don't think we really have time in this episode to be doing any infusion nor any enchanting. We will be waiting with that till the next episode. I think we did quite a good amount of progress today. The base has gotten a much needed upgrade. Now, one final thing that I do want to check out before we end today's episode is to see how much the sulfur has actually grown in the farm. So if we look here, it has actually grown quite a lot. Not quite enough to be harvested. Some of them are. That one's ready, that one's ready, that one's ready. So my tactic of placing them on the side so that one pixel sticks out of the water is actually working very well. So I can easily see when I walk down here which ones are ready for harvest. So that's really cool. I'm glad this is working. I think I will have to maybe take this design and actually add it over there because I'm really happy with how that looks. There are still a few things that I want to change. I want to add some lanterns around the house. And I also, by the way, I removed the trapdoors there. I th I'm not quite happy with it, but I'll have to find some other wood that we can maybe add there because I think it could add some depth and some color to this building. But yeah, I want to add some more lanterns like out here. I want to maybe add some fencing here, some lanterns here and there. I'll probably do that off camera while also sorting out the storage. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. In the next episode, we will probably be doing some infusion. This armor is very enticing, but I'll need to figure out what our priorities needs to be. And we will also be doing our very first enchanting. And I really, really hope that we can get some silk touch, because that means we can start farming some berries. But not only that, we can farm other wood types as well over in our new wood area. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and goodbye.